Houghton in color is uh, Crawford during the IRS 77 year. Andrew Crawford. And Crawford hates doing pow turns or hated doing pow turns. Um, he said that Chris Owen always just gave him shit about doing them. That he was like a deer in the headlights. And I'm like, dude, just go up there. It looks beautiful. Just make a turn right here. And that's how we got that shot. Pretty sick. Uh, the rock water, fixtures. Water in the background. Yep. The ocean in the background. Yep. Uh, yep. So that was Austin. That was in Japan uh, near Otaru. Okay. Um, and we were just kind of cruising, trying to like spot new things and um, we're driving along the coastline and then we went with, to this uh, like snow covered amusement park and like a sea world type thing. And we looked over and saw it and then we asked those guys if they could go park at the hotel and like kind of hike traverse to get over to it and then ride down because it looked cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, they did it, but I think there's only like maybe a foot of snow. Um, but it was cool because then they made it down, they're walking back, and it's like Fox, Curtis, Yoder, Austin, and who else was on that trip? Sean McKay. Oh, no way. And Tim Eddy. And then, yeah, so I think all those guys have gone over there, done it. And then they're walking back, and Liam and I are standing at this spot that has a kind of a 180 view of the coast. And we're looking down at the Japanese SeaWorld place, and we see this like full size male walrus like coming out of this building and all these Japanese guys are throwing snowballs and honking horns and pushing it back with a truck. Yeah. And it's like going past all the other caged animals and then it jumps into the water. But like if these guys would have been like maybe two to three minutes earlier, they would have fully like confronted this walrus on the beach. Um, So it's pretty cool to see this thing. So we're on this like little headlands, like little point and seeing the guys make turns and walking back and then they kind of stopped and we're like just enjoying the moment and Liam and I are just looking to our right hand side watching all this stuff go down oh my god those techniques waterfall Shandy that same year 2007 uh, in the spring like I think that was like April and Crawford uh, Lucas Jess Gibson Shandy and I uh, had all gone up to stay in where we stay in like Silverton or someplace. Mm-hmm. And then that was, or actually, no, that was Trout Lake. Um, and so it's okay. like back in one of the Trout Lake zones. Yeah. Um, and it was like the end of our trip. I think Mark Coleman had just come to meet us. Um, and Shandy, like, we, I remember looking at it. There's helicopter flying around, taking clients to this spot. We're trying to get their own snowmobiles. And uh, struggling at certain points, other people are doing well, but we basically just got as far as we go. All the snowmobiles are stuck. And then Shandy's like, hey, I want to go over and do this, this pillow stack. Um, so he hikes up there and does it. His dog, Randy, would always follow him and then come down after. Gnarly. Um, yeah. And then that same day, like shortly after that, like clients come skiing down. And we're kind of like laughing just because how much money they pay for the for the heli we got there via the snowmobile. Yeah. Um, and it's right in that area, like where the DT Memorial used to be at as oh, well. Okay. Um, but right after that snow turned to shit, like an hour later and, um, Crawford went to go do this like marshmallow pillow on top of a tree and hit it. And then he just kind of cased it, fell over. And then this like Volkswagen bug size, like marshmallow thing just falls on top of him <laughs> and like I think crushed some ribs. Oh shit! Um, and that was kind of the end of the trip. It was just a uh, I don't know, like that was like the last fun day of this like month long trip that we had been up uh, in the uh, Cooties. Gnarly. Um, and then yeah, then we got out of there. And I think Coleman, actually driving home from that trip, had a brain aneurysm and had to stay in the hospital in, uh, in Vancouver for, I don't know, a few days or a couple weeks or something like that. And that was kind yeah. of the end of his snowboard shooting career stuff. Wow. Power yeah, turn. So that is uh, Fox, probably like one of my all-time favorite photos. Yeah. Um, love shooting with Fox. I feel like him and I always struggle on where and how to get power turns. <laughs> um, but that one made it, and it has stayed uh, kind of at the top of my photos for the last, I don't even know, that was in... 2008 or something um, mm-hmm. up at face where we took you to on this last trip up there. Oh, no way. 
Um, yeah, it was just like, I think, yeah, I think it was that face. So it was just right over like the spot that we got to and the snow was shit. We turned around and went down. It was just like one little ridge over to the right hand side. Oh, cool. Like super mellow kind of warm up, but, um, just my positioning and where he was and yeah, it where just is made he, this perfect. Where is he What's coming? That? How is he, where is he coming from this? Cause he's kind of coming down and he does that like, like first like power turn on his heel and then he does a quick toe side turn under his, oh. under his slap and that's kind of how it barrels over him. Oh, okay, okay. What is this, an alley-oop or air to fakie? I can't tell on like the... Uh, air to fakie um, up at Mount Bachelor with Austin. Ah, uh, okay. Um, again, that was like, dude, I want to say that was sometime like May, like May 18th, 2008. Wow. Um, and I think Austin had hurt his knee, maybe. He had been injured, and then he was kind of like, he had kind of missed the season, but he came back for the spring. Yep. And he's like, we got to go up. And it was right after, maybe there was like a super park there that year. It was right after that. Austin got access um, to the mountain that we could go to the top on a snowmobile on his sled during the day and kind of do whatever we wanted. That's sick. Um, and so that day we went up and I shot, I was shooting for Nitro to Kine and maybe he was on nike or something but we went up there and we got eight ads in that one day no way <laughs> yeah it was just like everything he did like landed it all looked cool and it was like that like no i think he just started for nike and like we were kind of like walking around up there and i'm like dude just go do like an air to fakey there because it looks kind of like a nike swoosh how it comes in yeah totally um and but the i don't know like all that wind blown kind of chundry snow rhyme, just yeah. awesome yeah yeah um and so he did that. I think we maybe ended the day there. Or we maybe started up there. I don't know. I remember like the snowmobile ride up was super icy. Yeah. And we were sliding all over. I thought I was going to die. Um, and then uh, we went down to like a bunch of tree kind of jumps and like wind lip stuff that, that uh, those guys always normally do. But this was like one of the highlights. More photo I want to send over of Curtis. Okay. Um, it was like early season. And it was Curtis, Jana, and Runky, and myself. We went to this one snow park because Curtis wanted to do a um, gap, like a little road gap. But, it, you know, it was like kind of down into a gully over the road, like maybe you're like 10 feet off the road or something, and then land in the other gully. Mm -hmm. and you get pulled in by a snowmobile. And I think at that time, maybe Runky was shooting. I don't know why. Like, I think he had some lights and stuff out, and I was shooting. Um, but and Jan was pulling him in on the sled and we kind of get it all set up, you know, it takes a couple hours or something. We're kind of dorking around. And then we see a U.S. Forest Service truck roll up and we're like, no, damn it. And <laughs> Runky's like, go, 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 Jan, pull him in, go. And like went and did it. And the guy is like pulling up in his U.S. Forest truck and, and like asking Runky what's going on. And we had Curtis jump over uh his car got the photo and got out of there and then the awesome part about it, it ran in snowboard journal and uh one of the younger guys from the forest service had like a subscription to the magazine and was looking through it <laughs> and like it was up like the old guy that was retiring like that month and they're like dude can we get this copy we want to give it to him as a retirement gift uh, <laughs> no way so they gave it to him like you got a print and they gave it to him as a retirement gift yeah that's pretty <laughs> sick. Uh, yeah, but that was just a fun one because, like, yeah, those guys are always just characters to be around with. Totally. That's yeah. amazing.